What is your greatest weakness? Have you ever been asked that question on an interview? Well, here's how you can approach it. Oftentimes, we forget that a company has a job description and core values. Very important documents for us to make sure that we don't choose a weakness that aligns with one of their core values or job descriptions. So you choose one that isn't a critical one and choose one of your weaknesses that you've already begun to work on. So you might say, I have the disease to please. And because of that, oftentimes I take on more tasks than I should in a given week or day. And it impacts my time management. I had the chance to watch an online virtual learning on LinkedIn to help me improve this. And what I gained from that is to communicate more with my leadership to negotiate deadlines, and to adjust priorities while on the back end, I'm doing everything I can to streamline those duties and tasks that might get in the way of the more thoughtful and complicated work. This has worked so well for me because I really want to do everything that I can to ensure that I cover everything that's given to me. But what I learned is that you can't please all of the people all of the time at the same time. And learning that lesson has really lifted me out of seeing it as just a weakness, but an opportunity to be strong in time management. You've taken an opportunity to draw them in with some empathy, show them how you are evolving and being vulnerable at the same time, which is really what they need to see. Follow me for more tips. I love to share.